Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I was brought to uh, make this message. My guides knocked on my door this morning as soon as I woke up and said, this is what you have to do. So I'm going to start, try to hone in. And this is uh, my guides that you have heard me speak from, uh, Janice, uh, all of the other guides. Jesus, Jesus is saying, you, most of you, if not all of you, have a quest, and this has become a request that you ask continuously of yourself and of others. What is my purpose? Your purpose has one meaning only, has one objective only, and is to serve the divine. There are people, most of you, who do many things. You have a job, a full-time job. You have a hobby. You have also different activities you do that help serve, serve the public and serve the divine. How to explain to you that your service is done through all of these different jobs, all of these different activities and they are one. The attitude and the perspective you need to use and adopt when you are doing your work, because it is work, because it is work toward service to the divine, is that all your activities, you sing, you work, you work in an office, you exercise, you help others exercise, you help others sing, you teach. These are under one theme. The notion of service and your purpose, soul's purpose, has to be found in the underlying key word that you can string together these activities. It could be communication. It could be helping others. It could be writing. It could be speaking. It could be moving. It could be playing. It could be some form of activity that moves energy to include others. The key to a soul's purpose is others. The notion of reaching out and extending yourself and your activity to include others. The basic underlying concept here is the notion of one. Your activities, one purpose, one perspective, one the divine, one purpose. There are very many confusing ideas that you have because you do one thing and you want to do another and you believe that this confusion is also confusion concerning your purpose. It is not. It is a varied way to serve. It is a varied way that you link to the divine, that you communicate what the divine wants to tell you and others. And it is one soul idea, one purpose, one connection. There are other questions. There are other questions that concern what about this? 
or this? What should I do? These are superficial questions concerning the nature of choice, the nature of free will. You can choose any activity that does not harm others, but helps bring others with you together to serve. In harmony and in expressive intent towards moving toward the divine, you must remember there is an important purpose that lays behind every single act. It could be learning a language. It could be teaching a language. The underlying purpose is to communicate and to include others. If you work as a mechanic, you are working for others, with others, so that they may be able to use their automobile. Automobiles include carriage of other people. You bring other people together. The idea is bringing people together to serve the divine. Now you ask, and this is the question that arises, is what if my activity is carried out alone? What if my activity only serves me? What if my activity is always done in solitude? My answer is here that there is always a way for you to reach out with what you do. If you study and most of your day is passed through scriptures, studies, reference books, textbooks, internet searches, everything you do there needs to be then extended to others. Remember, the key word is inclusion of others, serving the divine. The notion of one needs to guide your days, needs to guide your activities, needs to guide every idea that you have and how it needs to be planned in one single direction with one sole purpose. Extend yourself, extend yourself to others, even only to cajole them, even only to reach out, even only to show them that you think of them. The idea here is to serve through moving energy and inclusion. This is one theme that will run through all of your activity. Again, ask yourself, what is my soul's purpose? What am I here to do? And list all of the things that you do from the very menial exercising, drinking, eating, walking, to the most amount of time that you spend with a certain activity. Put them in one category only and find the, de the denomination, the basic denomination of what it is they all aim to do. You will find that keyword. You will find that purpose. Everything you do has purpose. And you will find that everything you do has one theme. Do not fear that if you have no job, no activity, you are without purpose. There is always something you do from going shopping for the person who lives near you or with you who cannot go, you aid them. 
The notion of assistance is also one key concept in the many activities that we carry out. We were once in your place. We are always, always, always in communication with you. We steer and guide you toward activities that will enlighten you, enhance your importance, and enrich you. Bear in mind that there are many rewards for what you do. Many extreme things you cannot imagine are rewards that come to you from the service you provide and from your purpose. Many of you know already what your purpose is, are extremely in embedded in that life and activity already, but cannot see and cannot realize what it is. We want you to begin to list. Making lists will help you understand with only key words, and you will find that the lists will include certain emerging concepts. Those will be your responses. Many people think they need to go within. We are telling you your purpose is going out, extending yourself to others. This is a message that for now needs to be complete because our messages will be returned to you on a weekly basis through this channel and every message will have its theme. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I was told today that it would be a weekly series of messages and that the messages would have a theme each time and that every time, every communication, there would be a different master, a different lord, a different god or goddess. This was directly from Jesus Christ this time. And I'm told that the soul of the God and Lord who gave us this message is here with us and will always be, even if messages come from other masters, other gods, other lords. I will be back then, ladies and gentlemen. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.